Okay. So, uh, cancelling of beliefs. Yes. And um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about like my experience around my own blood pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, and for anyone who's, who's suffering with illnesses, and like it took me about you know I had to, uh, high blood pressure, kidney failure, and um, gout. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I knew that Dr. Hawkins had let go of 23 illnesses. I met him. He got his energy transference. And this thing of cancelling beliefs. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I would, uh, every morning, I'd have a list of things I'd do. Like, I cancel my belief in high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief in kidney failure. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief in gout. Mm -hmm. And um, also, uh, I was also like sitting with my feelings and yes. feeling them out. Yes. Uh, sometimes I practice the observer as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the uh, I was doing the Course in Miracles. The, like cancelling beliefs for me comes from Lesson 14 of Course in Miracles. It's just a different way of saying it. God did not create high blood pressure and so it is not real. Yeah. Uh, which is Lesson 14 of the Course in Miracles. Mm -hmm. And I knew that all of these illnesses come from... Um, having a store of repressed feelings, like fear, anger, guilt, shame, that I have to feel out, sit with, and also cancelling the belief. So it was like the, like 30 years of addiction, mm -hmm. compulsive overeating and other addictions, had meant I had too many feelings mm -hmm. that I hadn't felt out. Yes. And then this had like, because it was too, too many feelings that mm -hmm. hadn't been felt out, these attract illnesses, mm -hmm. all that guilt and shame attracted high blood pressure, you just collect it out, you pick these, it's because there's so much negativity, mm. like from what you hear, like, oh, someone else has got high blood pressure, mm -hmm. someone is dying of kidney failure, and, you, and it matches, the illnesses match how negative you are. Mm. So if you're only slightly negative, maybe you get a cold, and then it's gone in two weeks. But if you're like, <laughs> if you're like extremely, you have too much negativity in you, then you get the serious life-threatening ulcers, so like kidney failure, uh, uh, you know, heart attacks. Mm -hmm. If you're dying, that means there's too much extreme negativity yeah. within it. So, so like uh, mm -hmm. normal people will only get colds every now and then, and then they're fine. Mm -hmm. But if you're like really, uh, uh, you have too many repressed feelings, and there's like a huge reservoir of shame, guilt, uh, fear, fear mm -hmm. then then you you attract from the collective. It's like there's a resonance. Like someone says, "I'm dying of cancer. I'm going to die." And so you you think that that's a match for your vibration. So you take you pick it up. And, but and subconsciously, right? Well, so, you know, there's the collective consciousness, right? So mm -hmm. so it's like when you're um, when you're very negative. You know, you will just attract the right people, situations to say the yes. right, the right things, mm -hmm. and then that will be the magnetic match for how negative you are. Yeah. You see, like if if someone is feeling very happy in themselves and they hear I'm dying of cancer, they're not going to pick it up mm -mm. because they're happy. Yes. You see, so but you know, like that much negativity is like almost like wanting to die. You see, it's the mm. the absence of the light of God. The light of God is life and happiness and joy and freedom. And it being in so much darkness, so much fear and guilt and shame is anti-life. Yeah. So you're looking to pick up from the collective the darkest, uh, destructive death. Either you're going to like have cancer or you're going to like pick up a machine gun and shoot it. Or something like something, mm -hmm. something dark. So, mm. because if you're in darkness, you're not in the light, you see. Yeah. The fear is the opposite of the light and life and love. Yeah. So, I attracted very, very dark things, like taking me to death. Mm -hmm. Addiction and kidney failure and high blood pressure and pain and gout and all this stuff. But, um, so, mm. you know, so once you've picked up the belief, like kidney failure, like high blood pressure, mm -hmm. and these often have symbolic meanings. Mm. It's like I felt... You know, I was like, I had too much pressure, you know, too much pre too much fear, and I felt too much pressure to cope with life. Uh, and so the, the, these things, you know, in Oriental medicine, 
you know, the uh, if there's too much fear, mm -hmm. then that blocks the, uh, the the kidney meridian. In Chinese medicine, you have the major energy lines, meridians. So what if you if you're in fear all the time, then you won't have energy in the kidney line. Yeah. So you, you can get kidney failure. So I had kidney failure. I had high blood pressure. I had gout. Gout. Doctor Hawkins had gout, and he said to pray for forgiveness for the one in me who had mm -hmm. caused pain to others in this lifetime and past lives, yeah. because obviously it's like I had been creating pain for me and for others. Mm -hmm. You know, my mother seeing mm -hmm. her son, you know, eating and getting ill and all of this stuff being selfish and thinking of myself all the time. Mm -hmm. So so then I, I picked up from the collective, oh, gout is very painful. Mm. I, I, I give pain to everyone. So I, that's a match, unconsciously, wow. if you like, for, for the illness I need. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like... <clears throat> so so you, by feeling the feelings out, yeah. you're letting go, or going to the observer, you're letting go of the repressed feelings. But you have to also now, it's just a collective, uh, belief, mm -hmm. like none of these exist in God. You know, mm -hmm. cancer doesn't exist in God. High it doesn't exist in the light. Yeah. In the pure light of of God, kidney failure, uh, gout, high blood pressure. Even even uh, like if you take the Course in Miracles, I'm not a body. I'm free for others. God created me. So none of yeah. these things exist. Yeah. Just. Hello. Come on up. Do you know how to come up? Yes. Thank you. Okay, still on camera. Yes. But, but can I ask a question, Sadia? Yes. You know the Chinese yes. uh, med medicine. Can acupuncture help? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's very good. Mm -hmm. uh, China, you know, acupuncture is, uh, is you know, Acupuncture is good, spiritual healing is good. Um, the Course in Miracles, you know, the inner spiritual work is at the highest level. Um, but all of these other things, therapies, are very mm -hmm. helpful. Mm -hmm. But the thing with therapy, I and mean, you should definitely use anything that's helpful, yeah. you know, medicine, therapy, whatever. Mm -hmm. But at, at the ultimate level, most of these things tend to be what's called, in the Course in Miracles, magical. Yes. They're, they're yes. called magical solutions, like there's a, I'm in pain, I'll just take a painkiller. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's good, you know, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Or I'm, I, have, I have some acupuncture or some therapy or whatever. Yeah. But they're, they're referred to as magical, which is fine, I, I, agree, I think you should use them. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, the 100% the mm -hmm. thing is when it's removed from your consciousness. Mm -hmm. You see, when you remove it from your consciousness, yeah. then then that's the ultimate thing, you know, so you're totally free. So the cancelling of the beliefs yes. helps to remove it? It helps to remove it, it completely from your consciousness. Lovely. So... So... Um, you know, like if, if I go to acupuncture, I might have to keep going back to acupuncture. Yes. You know, if I see a therapy, I'm now had a few weeks, I'm now again I'm feeling bad. Mm. So you have to go back. You have to go back. So yes. therapies help, and, and you should do them if you need them. Welcome. Hello. Uh, you, you should do them if you need them. Mm -hmm. And um, but um, ultimately, uh, with things like therapy and acupuncture, do use them, but when you clear it from your thinking yes. and you clear the energy, then you no longer need what's called, what the Course would call a magical cure, right. which is like a temporary, like a temporary thing. Mm -hmm. Because if you still got the negative feelings and, uh, in you, yes. you just pick up something else, yeah. you see. So mm -hmm. it's like you got... Um, you got, you got high blood pressure and you put some needles in, you probably go away. Mm -hmm. But if you still got all the negativity in you, you just mm -hmm. pick up something else. Mm. So, or, or, and they tend to be like temporary, mm -hmm. so they last for a while. Yes. And then you have to keep going back. Whereas, you know, once you 
cancelled it and felt out the feelings is gone for good and you have a very strong spiritual connection yeah. whereas it's a kind of a dependency yeah. and it's a kind of external projection that uh, God is not the ultimate healer it's really it's really when you when I say I have to take a tablet to be fixed and then I'm fixed it's like the power because the Course of Miracles says I'm not a victim of the world I see mm -hmm. and nothing nothing outside of myself mm -hmm. is can be God mm -hmm. so otherwise then I'm making God you know the tablet mm -hmm. or I'm making God the acupuncturist mm -hmm. or I'm making God so so that that's what I think you know I have nothing against those but ultimately what the, the biggest healing is when I didn't go to anything mm -hmm. and I got it from God and I used all kinds of things mm -hmm. you know like uh, I had a transplant I think this was just such an awesome miracle and I think I just have to keep sharing it you know after the kidney transplant I was given 13 med medicines I've got proof of this 13 medicines and I cancelled my belief I did that I, I cancelled my belief in the adverse side effects of medication so you know you can cancel your beliefs but you can also can take things and cancel that they have any negative effect. So I cancelled my belief in the adverse side effects and within I think two years I was down to one med medication and the doctors were saying, uh, I remember my consultant saying I have the lowest, I take the lowest medication for any transplant patient in the hospital. So from 13 to 1 just by cancelling my belief yeah. and, then, and then it's like, so the power of God connecting to that peace and light within. Mm -hmm. You don't need outside things eventually because yeah. they all drop away because you have the ultimate healer is that inner light. I confirm what you're saying, Sabia, because I, I used to take care of patients yes. who had tra kidney transplant yes. and they were on so many medications. Yes. One, that's unheard of. It's unheard of. I mean, I yeah. was on, on the minimum... The minimum the minimum immunosuppressant, I think three milligrams of tacrolimus, uh, twice that's a day. That's what you take. That's that's what I took. Uh -huh. And uh, that was from thirteen to one. And he said he doesn't know of anyone else who did that. So, yeah. you know, it's um, you know it went down. It went down to one. And now there's just one other uh, mm -hmm. recently. But. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it is. I remember the pharmacist saying, "You're going to put us out of business because, in the beginning, you know, transplant patients are taking like a huge thing, yes. and I was down you know, more or less down to nothing. So, that's the power of the cancelling, and also ultimately, you know, it's the the ego always wants it to be something outside mm -hmm. that you go to to be the fit. But the ultimate is is the power of God. Mm -hmm. So they're good, and I recommend you do them. But ultimately, as you do the spiritual work, you need nothing outside of yourself to be uh, to be the fix. Um, the Course of Miracles says you should, if you ever have a negative belief, you should just cancel it immediately. Okay. So I do it in the morning, and mm -hmm. then, but I didn't really do it during the day because I was doing all the other spiritual work. But ideally, if you just you should challenge the thought and say I cancel it when it comes up mm -hmm. in consciousness and. Um, all those, all those illnesses, all those medicines, you, you know, they, they all start dropping away. Mm. And it's the thing of, uh, once you let go of the repressed feelings and you cancel the beliefs, you know, everything will go. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, or even if it doesn't go, it won't trouble you because mm -hmm. it, you, won't rec you won't notice it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's the thing around health and illness and also applies to addiction. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Any other questions? On the health thing? Uh, no. no. Okay.